pretty nice out there. Well, everyone is at risk for breast cancer, including men. But for women, breast cancer is the most common cancer in the U.S. Jerry Harish Harishima, mm -hmm. an oncology genetic counselor with Intermountain Medical Center, joins us now. Um, so let's talk about how what is breast cancer? How does, how does someone get it? Okay. Well, breast cancer, well, what I tell everyone is that all breast cancer is caused by changes in our genes, but not all breast cancer is hereditary. Okay. Um, so what I mean when I say that is when we look at the etiology of breast cancer, um, most breast cancers are caused by genetic changes that just happen sporadically, okay? And then in about 5 to 10 percent of cases, these yeah. breast cancer occurred because it was inherited from a mom or a dad. So when we look at our genetic makeup, we get 50% of our genes from mom mm -hmm. and the other 50% from dad. And unfortunately, we don't get to choose which 50% we inherit. <laughs> yeah, you might get, you know, mom's crow's feet or dad's <laughs> big feet. You don't get to pick and choose which one. Exactly. So you just mentioned um, the inheritance and, mm -hmm. and the genes that you get. And we've heard of the, the BRCA genes. Mm -hmm. what, what is that? Okay, so when a, an individual has a mutation in either the BRCA1 gene or the BRCA2 gene, then they have a syndrome known as hereditary breast and ovarian cancer syndrome. And this is the same thing that Angelina Jolie has because she also tests a positive for a BRCA mutation. And we know with, with Angelina Jolie's case, mm -hmm. her mom had breast cancer and passed away from that. Does it have to be a, a direct relation? Do you have to have a mom or an aunt or a sister? Okay, and that's a really good question. Typically, when an individual is scared or suspicious of her family history of cancer, the best thing for her to do is to talk to a genetic counselor or a professional trained to talk about the nuances of genetic testing. And from the genetic counseling consult, we then look at the family history, do a comprehensive cancer risk assessment, and ascertain is there a sufficient family history to warrant genetic testing. So every family's history is different and it's best to talk to a genetic counselor about her risk. When you talk about going into a hospital and getting tested for anything, people start thinking of um, Dr. Kevorkian or they have these, <laughs> these thoughts of a horror story or something bad happening, mm -hmm. but getting tested isn't that bad. What's mm -hmm. the what's the process for having that genetic testing? Okay, so the process it's it's very simple. It can either be a blood draw or a saliva collection. But again, I'm going to reiterate that it's best to do genetic testing in connection with a genetic counselor or a healthcare professional trained to do that, because genetic testing is so complicated. Yeah. And as part of the genetic counseling consult, we we do talk about so many different things that ensures we provide the best informed consent for that patient. It could be talking about the possible results we can get, um, the possibility for life insurance discrimination if somebody were to test positive so best to do a proper consult for that oh good so you can help uh, I guess in the aftermath if they're having issues with their insurance making sure their insurance helps with that that's a concern for a lot of people mm -hmm. what about the women that you meet who don't really have a mother or sister who had breast cancer and they are the first in their family are they starting that family history so you know, a lot of times when you talk to people over the phone, and that's a great question, what you do find out is they tell you they don't have any family history, but right. they come into my office, we do a comprehensive cancer risk assessment, and then they tell me, oh wait, actually I have two aunts with breast cancer, yeah. and then also a cousin with mm. ovarian cancer, and it's from that assessment that we really say, you know what, you need to get tested um, to look for mutations in the BRCA1 and 2 genes. All right, so you can do that if you go to Intermountain Medical Center's Breast Care Center. I've interviewed a lot of people over there. You're all really friendly, so that makes it nice when you walk in because this is, can be a very scary situation Absolutely. for women walking in. Um, we'll put the details on our website at goodforyoutalk.com. Cherry, thanks for coming on the show and explaining something that's sure. pretty complex. You're welcome. <laughs>